Sowing and Reaping Seeds of Life by Catherine Tingley, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. This piece is an extract from The Wine of Life. The Wine of Life is a compilation of public addresses delivered by Catherine Tingley in the USA and Europe, mainly in 1923 and 1924, and it was published in 1925. Sowing and Reaping Seeds of Life The small mind may say, I have had more than enough of life, I do not want to live again. But this is no better than cowardice, and the attitude of the man who would sit down and neglect his duties and responsibilities and forget them. Belief in reincarnation inspires us to stand on our own feet and hold our shoulders back and our heads high in superb confidence because of the divinity of man. To come into a nearness to eternal things, we must have life after life, experience after experience. We must have known all sorrow and heartache, all agony and despair. It is the pressure of these things that is bringing us slowly to our own, so that we may find within our hearts at last the knowledge that passeth understanding, the peace that shall abide with us by night and in the daytime, through all eternity, and no less in our griefs than in our joys. When you are overburdened with sorrow, and heart sick to find the meaning of it all, and a moment comes when you move away from your mourning and close the doors on the past, and quiet and inward feelings arise in you, study them, watch them well. You may find evidence then of the mercy of the higher law and the compassionate friendliness at the heart of being. There is no such thing as chance. Divine law governs us. The ills a man causes he can cure, and the seeds of the conditions that oppress us now were sown by us in former lives. You may be suffering and in ill health, and have in memory no time when in this life you set in motion the currents of the physical decay and prepared for yourself the trials you are undergoing. Is there no bright promise for you? Can you not find new strength to meet life each morning, in the knowledge that as you are reaping that which you have sown, so you shall reap that which you are now sowing? Were a man to die tomorrow, in the belief that we live but this once, when death had come he would find himself enlightened, and out in the great blue of hope. For to the soul in its passing, when the lips are already mute, and the mind seems unconscious, a sure and certain knowledge comes. It understands how unreal the life just past has been, and that all its activities here were unfinished business. Memory for a while is vivid and strong. Spiritual light is thrown upon the path ahead. Revelations come of what might have been, and what yet is to attain, and the soul cries out for a larger opportunity that in the light of the experience it has gained, it may begin again. Correct old mistakes, make fresh efforts, build anew, and build with understanding. And with the aspiration comes the answer. In the divine economy, endless opportunities are accorded.